Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Publisher. What I want to cover in this session is all the basic concepts of Publisher, just getting started the first time you've looked at Publisher. So when you open Publisher, you are presented with either the home screen, and this may be different on yours to mine, depends what you've been doing, and you then go to new or open if you've already created one. But if you it's the first time you've looked at Publisher, you go to new, and then you've got some options here, and then further down, you've got quite a few different groups of publications that you can select. Personal would be um, stuff that you've looked at before and saved before. If I go back, you've then got design sets where you can see lots of different design sets all these different types of documents and there are quite a few if you go down you can see that there's loads and loads and loads basically these are all templates that are already set up um, that you can use but the problem with all templates is that sometimes you're not quite sure how things have been created uh, design set labels different sets of labels go back again um, events so these are downloaded events. So you've got flyers, banners, invitations, all sorts of different stuff under the events and back. Different types of paper. Like so. And again, you've got hundreds and hundreds of different things that's already set up. And then I'm edging towards the business section because under business, you've got things like email newsletter thank you cards address book business card and so on and so on and then these sort of letter headed documents if we go into that you can see how it works you just create this and put your logo and information on there we we'll go back there's a this is going back through this page but if i click on this one this is a newsletter this is all generic text which you have to replace with your information and then this is an address book so this would be where you would do um, to keep your addresses and so on and so on and then these are your business cards your business cards you create that and then you print that on card and then you cut that out or get somebody to do that for you so all these templates if I go back a preset if I go to cards you can see there's quite a few different cards there that you can you click on if I click on any one of these the same principle is you can just go through and have a quick preview of what these would look like so what I'm going to do is go back to business and create a business card so I'll click on it and then you click create or if you double click on it it'll just create it anyhow so it creates the uh, the the template loads it up and then what you've got to do is change the information so now I need to zoom up so I can see now obviously this has got lots of sample information that you probably don't want well you definitely don't want now what you have to do is replace the logo with your logo and press all this information now there is a feature in publisher called business information that you can populate and then you can insert that business information from here like there so there's my information there already populated if I go into edit business information at the bottom you can create additional ones so I could have a new one there for my home address that's my business address um, if I click update publication there's no fields in this particular publication for that business information so it's basically starting from scratch with this layout um, but if I go across the top there you've got home similar to word you've got the formatting options form uh, font and paragraph and then all of this information inserting things so in terms of publisher these are all in boxes if you like or frames as they used to be called so you've got a a picture frame a text frame and a table frame they're the main frames so that's where everything goes inside one of those frames so these 
these are little text boxes you can see there look when I click on them and there you go so that that's just like a, a little table that they've been put in um, that's just a picture frame which you can replace logo so all of these are just different objects that you can bring in so different parts of a document so these are just parts I've got some parts that I've saved as well calendar options borders all these are just elements parts of different um, templates and you got date time and things like that to go in the header and footer so in the following session I'm going to a follow-up session I'm going to go through how to create this from scratch which I think is the best way to learn how to do this and how to edit all of these things page design is where it says on the tin different color schemes you can select um, and then it's just going to apply it to this particular publication mailings is for mail merge so you can mail merge these documents if you want to email these documents review spelling view you've got different um, views so master pages like in the header and footer in word you'd have it you'd go into the header and footer to do things so in there you can put um, watermarks and things like that help and then format uh, formatting whatever you're doing here so we're on pictures at the minute okay so this one now needs to be changed so I need to put my name there Steve Saxton I'm not the vice president um, I can say a trainer and telephone numbers these are American things so we don't call them sell in the UK we call them mobile don't ring me because that's a made up number office number I'll leave that like that email would be steve at it's easy dot co dot uk and I don't live in Buffalo although I've been to Buffalo I'll just put it one red red road leads that'll do website it's easy dot co dot uk so you have to and then the logo I need to insert a picture in there so of a logo I can remember where it is. Logo. That'll do. That won't do, that's too big. Okay. That needs to be a bit bigger to fit in there. It doesn't actually fit in that space. So what I'm going to do is delete that and just get rid of that. And then just insert that again and, and play around with it. We've got a small one. That's not small either. And I can sit that like that. Like so. so you don't have to put it in these boxes like that. So that's how you create the uh, card. Now on the tab at the top, you've got design options. So I can change these color things um, if I want to. I um, don't really particularly want to do that, but no mind, you get the idea. So these are all to do with the tables that we've got, those little tables. And center aligning text, don't really want to do that. And rotating text around, don't want to do that. And so on and so on. So I need to push this up a bit now because I've messed that up. So they're creating cards for people in your company. So the next person you type in there and so on and so on. And if you don't want any of these, you can just delete them off. And then you can print them off and set them as cards. So I'm just going to close this one down. Control W. And I'm not going to... Um, I will save it actually. Call it um, business card. So I can get back to it. And then I'm back to the front screen where I can do another one. New. And because I've just been in that one, it's come up there. Look, you can see it recently used. Otherwise, it would be part of business. But let's um, create a blank document. Because this is where you can create one from scratch. So what you've got here, look, are the objects. So text box, 
I'll draw a text box. There's a text box. I'll make that quite small actually. So when you type in a text box in Publisher, you've got to be careful that you don't get that symbol there because that means you've got text in overflow and it's wanting you to link to a, another text box. That's what I just did there. So that now flows over into that second text box. If I type more information into there, it flows over into that one. So you do not want to see, if I just do a, a separate one, you do not want to see that information there. That is not good. That means something's not been shown. So that's a text box, picture frame um, from file. I'll just do my logo again so you can see that. So everything is in frames, remember, and you can switch things around and, and change them later on. If I go back to home, and then you've got a table where you can create a table similar to what you saw on the business card, and then you just type in that table as normal, like you'd expect a table. You've got the options at the top, layout, format, and insert rows, columns, above, left, below, whatever you want, merge cells. To merge cells, you'd have to highlight cells, merge it into one cell. Then you can just type on that one. Put that in the middle. And if I make this a little bit bigger so you can see what I'm doing, that'll probably help. You know, you've got... Um, all these different layer options you can change the text around so if I click on that one and just change the text around um, doesn't really work like that but I can make a bit more of a space then it works um, if I go back to design I can fill that in a different color not the same color different color blue and they've got borders and line styles so I've put a thick line on and a border all borders and what I've got highlighted. So if I just highlight those two cells and change the line color to red, for example, and then all borders, just those two cells go red. And you don't need to have um, anything, any borders on at all if you don't want. And in there you've got fill effects where you can do these sort of things, put a picture in there. I'll insert a picture. Stock images is Microsoft. I'll put that bird in there. That'll do. There you go. You've got a bird inside that. And you can do that for each of these. If we go back into fill, um, fill effects, you've got gradient fill where you can have this changing color. Um, like so. And then just adjust this slightly, put another gradient colour in, and then totally mess this up like that. OK. And you have it like so. So that, it's basically similar to, or almost identical to a word table. You can spin it around, you can change the size of it, and you can move it around like so. So that's the three objects that I want to talk about. Shapes is the other thing that's there. These are just shapes as you would be familiar with in any Microsoft package. So I'm just using my control key to copy these shapes. They also they also have text box. Even though it's a shape, it has the same sort of feature as a text box. So that's the link to another one. So that would then fill across to that. Click, click again, pour it into the next one. Now, if you wanted to do that manually, you've got these create link option there. And then when you move your mouse down, it becomes a cup of coffee or tea. And you click into that one, and then it creates the link back between these two boxes. And then you can just you can just type in that link. And it should flow across into that one. Okay, so that's all the basics in Microsoft Projects, and in the next session we'll go into a bit more detail and create some manual blank documents and go through 
emailing newsletters and things like that. But that's all I want to talk about for now, so thank you for your time.